Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CEI's 35th anniversary dinner. I am Catherine Mangu Ward, the editor in chief of Reason Magazine, and your harsh task mistress for this evening. I will start by saying, sit down, all of y'all, or I will send this guy for you. I also want to start by saying, look at this room full of beautiful nerds. I am so happy to be here among you. It is brimming over with humans, equally in love with deregulation and dragons. What more could I ask in life, except for you to sit down? We are all living our own best libertarian stereotype. I could not be more proud. There are not too many people here in Washington who fall asleep every night thinking of the federal agencies that they would like to murder. I am delighted to be in a room with so many of them. We will just have to hope that no one planted a cache of wildfire under this building or the entire libertarian movement is doomed. I do want to be serious for a minute. This is CEI's 35th birthday, and I think that's right. I think I speak for many of us in this room when I say that no one thought it would last this long. <laughs> it's hard to measure success in Washington, but there is no doubt in my mind that the gang at CEI has made a real difference for the cause of smaller government and greater economic freedom in this godforsaken town. They stick up for the little guys, and let's be real, some very big guys. Because they believe it's the right thing to do. They always do what they believe is the right thing to do, and they do it, most impressively, joyfully. The guys at CEI and gals always seem to be having fun. They like plunge into the fray, white papers aloft, just unafraid of the odds against them. They emerge bloodied but unbowed. Like George R.R. R. Martin, their work will never be done. I could not be happier to be here celebrating with all you true believers, and I am genuinely honored to be part of this 35th birthday celebration. But enough with the sappiness. I have some important announcements. First, there, as always, will be prizes given for the best tweet of the night. You should use the CEI dinner hashtag. I don't know who actually judges these prizes, but if it's me, which it might be, uh, you should know that I am both bribable and flatterable. So, just FYI. The prizes for that competition were donated as usual by a man who drinks and knows things, David Osgo of the Distilled Spirits Council, ladies and gentlemen. I am told that the prizes are uh, some bottles of Johnny Walker White Walker whiskey. So uh, get your tweeter machines fired up. Again, hashtag is CEI dinner. We have an incredible show for you tonight. We have Johan Norberg. We have Dave Barry. We have that crazy little movie that CEI does every year and a bonus anniversary movie. So stay tuned for those. We have a wide open bar. So let's get started. First, it is my great honor to hand the microphone over to Kent Lastman. He, Kent Lastman, ladies and gentlemen. He had a big, he had a big skirt to fill when he took over from Lawson Bader. He has done ably and, of course, uh, works always in the mold of the legendary Fred Smith. <laughs> Under Kent's leadership, CEI has seized new opportunities to have real influence in Washington while remaining faithful to its core nerdball identity. 
Ken is also a much nicer person than I am. So if you need a dose of sincerity or human kindness tonight, get it now because I will be back. <laughs>